Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Windows 11, as you may well know, we do not have an option or the ability to drag a pinned app from the pin section of the start menu and drag that and pin it to the taskbar, as you can see. That option is not available. The only way we can do this, as another example, is to head to your all apps list and drag and link it and pin it to your taskbar. So that's how it all rolls out in the stable version. Now this could all be set to change because uh, in the recent beta channel build 22635.3785, which I posted on earlier today, and I'll leave that video linked in the end screen, there was a feature where Microsoft added jump lists for apps, which is a new feature coming to the start menu, officially being tested. But... Um, they didn't mention the ability as shown to drag an app and put it to your taskbar, which kind of flew under the radar and was also made available uh, as a new feature in Bull 22635.3785. And this change was spotted by Phantom of Earth once again over on X. And he has a little video clip posted. And as you can see, and as a Phantom of Earth says over on X, undocumented improvement in the beta channel build, you can now drag apps from the start menu's pinned list to the taskbar to quickly pin them to it. Previously, you had to do this from the all apps list. So this is just one of those small little changes, I think, um, kind of flew under the radar with this latest build, but I think this is kind of basic functionality, um, which seem, seems that Microsoft is bringing back into Windows 11, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And then another little change uh, in the same beta channel build regarding the start menu once again. So we've got one official change that was mentioned in the release notes regarding jump lists uh, in the start menu for the apps. And then we've got the first unofficial as mentioned where you can drag. And now we get a third feature, which is the second unofficial change in last week's beta channel, which um, it now supports folders. Um, which you can expand or collapse in the all apps list. And I actually posted on this um, at the beginning of April this year that Windows 11 24H2 could include a new all apps layout in the start menu. I'll leave that video in the end screen. But once again, this was also spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 over on X, also known as Phantom of Earth. And if we head to the next little video clip posted, here we can see, as mentioned, um, you are now able to, it now, it's now supports folders which can expand or collapse where previously this was not the case. So if we just play that one more time, you can see there, you can expand and collapse. So this new um, layout I actually prefer compared to the vertical layout we get because it is more of a horizontal layout now supporting folders. And I think it gets um, rid of that wasted screen real estate and uh, could make your all apps list a little bit shorter, but nonetheless, we've got that folder support now where you can expand and um, collapse those folders. And just to take you over quickly to the all apps in the stable version, you can see here to the right hand side quite a lot of real estate wasted here. So, and when that horizontal layout does make its way into the OS, I think that's going to be a nice move in the right direction. But nonetheless, that's just two little undocumented changes in the recent uh, uh, beta channel build 22635.3785 which i thought you may be interested in and i think both of these would be a nice little improvement um to windows 11 um if and when they do roll out to the stable version which i hope is sooner than later so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one